video I'm going to show you how to get to the fuses inside the cab of the uh, Scania R series. Now in the UK model it's on the near side so you open your passenger door come to the edge of the dashboard so there's your, your air vent come round to the side and you've got a plastic cover at the bottom a little gap what you'll be doing just prising it away it's one of these that's a little bit stiff and it just it's a bit hard to show you with this post in the way but you just literally prise it out it's just held in place I'll show you just held in place the little plastic pieces that fit in the holes you just keep going prise it out with your fingertips bit fiddly as it always is with these everyday things and you might need to get to them once it's prized off it gives you access to these and just get around the side of the gives you access to these and just give them a little twist Just, just turn it, and then that releases the top piece. Come along the bottom, and if I can show you these little places where you can put your fingers, and you'll be prizing in there. So you just pull down, work your way along again. Feels like you'd be breaking it feels like you're breaking the cover and I don't know why manufacturers do it like this. Surprise your fingers by climbing the cap a little bit or something in on the step. I'll close the door. round there we go and these little toggles just release all the way round go down back down to the bottom just tighten them away one at a time and on the back cover you get the corresponding icons where all your different fuses are. So I hope that helps. It's a little bit fiddly because you feel like you're breaking the plastic. Close the door. I feel like you're breaking the plastic, but it just pops off. Um, and on the corners, you have to be careful because these are hooks. So once you've prized off these plastic bits that go inside the actual surround once they've come off it does pull away you also got on the back of the side cover you've got some more corresponding fuses so that's your the internal fuses your lights things like that on the scan, you hope that helps. So it's a little bit fiddly, but it isn't always. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, if you give me the thumbs up and a like, and click on that notification bell, it all helps with the algorithm and allows me. To make more videos for you. 
thanks for watching catch you again later to replace it it's the opposite to replace the cover it's the opposite of taking it off but just be aware of this top corner it sort of slides in behind the panel and then once that's in it lines up everything and just make sure that all the catches see that's not lined up very well so we say it's always fiddly and again I'm trying to do it all one handed that never helps. Rise it off again. Work your way around with your fingers. So if you can see, just there, that hook sits inside that little recess there. So once that's in, in fact, if you bend the top just slightly, you can do it, I'm trying to <laughs> show you how to do it. I'm bending it a little bit. And that will then fits, allows that to slot in. Like that. There you go. So once that hooks in, just gently just tap the fittings. That's it. And then back down to the side. You've got the little turn one. There must be a proper name for it toggle that holds that zoom out a bit pull that that holds it the side bit in place retrieve the panel can only go in one way which have worked out what that way is come out a bit so you can see and then that just presses in push it in Make sure they're all in. And a little bit of a tap. So because the handrails here, it is a little bit awkward. Yeah, that's in. That's in, just press firmly with your fingers or your thumbs. And that's how you get. There you go. That's the one I wanted. That's into place. That's where it is. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps.